Hello, welcome back, it's Lynx. Today we're talking about pushing the boundaries of what it means to have your own unique sound. I recently got a question on here, what I thought about artists owning their unique sound and how important that is and how it affects your artistry. I probably am going to have an unpopular opinion here, especially when it comes to marketing etc and promotion but i'm in the middle of doing this strategy it's not even a strategy it's just what i want to do and i'm working through how to promote it and market it as my own artistry but i thought i would share it with you my thoughts about having like your own sound <laughs> or whatever okay my opinion and very shortly is that I don't feel as though you need to put yourself in a box in order to own your sound. In fact, I encourage you to do the opposite. I know a lot of people will say, spend the first few years figuring it out, figure out what your sound is, and then kind of stick to something because that's what like a label is gonna wanna hear from you and like people are gonna wanna know what to expect from you, etc. I don't know, I disagree. And maybe just because this is the way I want to do it and I'm very determined to make it work. I would rather have that variety and that those push boundaries be what's unique about my art artistry. I want to release music that is all over the place. Like next week I'm gonna be releasing a song with Drive as a collaboration and it's like a retro wave synth wave song. I've never released anything like that before. And if you're familiar with my work, you know, I just released a super light fantasy pop, dream pop EP. Whereas most of my music before was extremely dark or alternate pop music. Especially when I was making the darker stuff, I felt so stuck in that box. I had to stay within that genre if I wanted to ever like be noticed or break out or something. And let me tell you, I mean, every person's situation is different, but in the span of, you know, I don't know how many years, probably five years where I was releasing the same type of stuff, Nothing major ever happened, you know, like nothing like game changing for my career anyways. I've been doing this pushing like probably nine years at this point. After doing it so long and staying independent and not having any real like significant break yet, why should I not start playing around and not really caring anymore about like the box I'm in? Why not free myself releasing whatever I want to release and not thinking twice about it? Like I, that's where I'm at at this moment in time and where I believe I'm gonna be continuing to go because I think that's cool. I look up to artists that don't stay in a box. I like being surprised by new tracks and like the new styles they choose to do. I feel like a lot of artists are afraid to try something new because the people that like their old stuff won't like the new stuff they're trying out but you know maybe not but there's gonna be people that love your new stuff too. So my answer to that question is to definitely push those boundaries and do whatever you want. I've really come to realize in my many years of doing this when you're small which I still am you know and I think probably a lot of you are who have watched this no one and I'm okay I mean this in the best way possible I mean it as a freeing thing and this applies to myself as well but no one is actually listening you know what I mean? But like no one's even paying attention, you know? If they like a song from you, first of all, they've never heard of you. Most people have not heard of you, correct? Most people have not heard of me. They hear a song, they're like, oh man. Like, say they hear a song from Comply and they're like, man, I cannot get down with this dark shit. And then they hear like, I don't know, There You Go from Dreamweavers and they're, you know, they're into the lighter stuff. It doesn't matter, you know, they're gonna make an opinion one way or another. Not just one song defines you, I say that all the time. If you are toying with the idea of changing up your sound, just do it, you know? Just nothing's holding you back, no one cares. And I mean this like to be so freeing and it has really helped free me. Just release whatever you want because it's gonna open up doors from people that may have not listened to before. And on that note, definitely collaborate with other people that, you know, have different styles than yours and see what you learn from that and see how that goes. There's just so much that I feel as though we're afraid to like even step into because we're so preoccupied with the branding and the imagery and this whole ideal scenario that we want to be in. From experience and from working at a pretty similar place for a very long time, why the hell not? Especially like if you're not signed to a label. If you have the freedom to experiment 
there's nothing wrong with doing that. And the people that don't like that song or that new sound won't listen to it. That's okay, there are other people that will. That's my answer to that question. Let me know your thoughts on this. I know I've touched upon this in a few other videos, but I kind of wanted to zone in in this video, but just basically feel free to push the boundaries. It really doesn't matter, especially if you're independent. If anything, it's cool. Like, I'll appreciate you. I'll appreciate you for doing that and trying that and like having that courage to even go there. Makes me respect the artist more for just doing whatever the hell they want and like feeling confident in that and just solidified in who they are enough to do a different genre in their own unique way. Like, how about that? You're releasing music in a different genre, but it's always your touch. It's always your mind. It's your ideas. So it's still your unique sound. Anything you make is gonna be your unique sound. Like, that's just gonna happen. I mean, I'm all for trying to come up with new kind of sounds and like a new vibe, but also if you just don't think that hard about it, it tends to just happen naturally. I don't know. Let yourself go there and work and just get into that zone of just, you know, creating. Those are my thoughts on that question. I have a collaboration, a new collaboration coming out next Friday, May 28th with Drive Music, as I mentioned before. It's called Embrace and it's going to be a part of Drive's new album. Be on the lookout for that. I'm really excited about the song again. It's like a retro wave song. Release the 80s synth wave song. Like and subscribe if you want to stay updated on my videos and there will be a new song out next week and I'll see you next time.